The Affordable Care Act, nicknamed Obamacare, was passed a decade ago. We are done. It was the Obama administration's signature health law, and it's once again under threat. Republicans are hoping the third time's a charm as they move forward with a lawsuit to repeal the ACA. This time, though, the makeup of the Supreme Court is far more conservative, with the latest addition of Justice Amy Coney Barrett. The new case centers on the individual mandate provision, which requires all Americans to have health insurance or pay a penalty. It was upheld by the Supreme Court back in 2012 as a tax. But in 2017, congressional Republicans reduced the penalty to zero, effectively eliminating it. Since then, two lower federal courts have ruled that the amendment to the individual insurance mandate makes the legislation unconstitutional. Now the question before the Supreme Court is whether the amendment makes the whole law unconstitutional or just the one section. The stakes are high. If the court overturns the ACA, 21 million Americans would lose their health insurance in the midst of a pandemic. And protections for 54 million Americans with serious pre-existing conditions could also be eliminated. After a decade in place, the ACA has grown in popularity, with a majority of voters saying they'd like to see the court uphold the law, while just 43 percent want it overturned. The other major concern, what would replace the Affordable Care Act? While Republicans have voted dozens of times to repeal it, the party has yet to unveil a replacement.